Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Hillary. This is Rustic Threads. Um, this is floss tube number three. Um, I was here about a week ago and I'm back to show you a little bit of progress, um, a finish, um, and how I store my fancy floss, something that's working for me. I want to say hello to everyone who has watched me in the past, uh, any new subscribers. Thank you so much for coming back. Um, all the comments, uh, like I said, are wonderful, um, and I try to respond to every single one of them. Um, first off, I think I'm going to start out with one new thing that I found. Um, this is, I think, Kitten Stitcher. Teresa Vanette was talking about it one time, and I found it at uh, a local store here. Um, it's this scissor frog or flower frog cover for your mason jars. I found a pack of four. So I've got this little mason jar. I put my scissors right in here, excuse me, and uh, keep all my orts in there. Before I never had any place to keep my orts. Uh, they just flew off to the side and the vacuum cleaner picked them up once a week, twice a week, whenever I get done down to vacuuming. Um, I have I don't use needle miners, but I have one right here so I can just plop my needle there kind of sits anywhere on there So that, I thought that was really cool um, I think I'm going to start with a finish I had a start and a finish before the last video, but I forgot all about it. So it is the Lizzie Kate spring spring string a lot of people are doing this right now and I did it on a mint green, let's see, I have a board here, thought I would try that. I did it on a mint green 28 count Lugana. I uh, just chose some colors that I picked out myself. They're not all DMC, a few DMC. Um, Victorian motto, color and cotton, some other, some other flosses, so that was quick. Um, just again, when am I going to frame it or finish it? We'll see. Last week I wanted to show you my September cottage. I couldn't find it. I literally have, I don't know, 10 more stitches. I have to finish the birds and the beaks and I'm going to finish that tonight. So I'm going to call that a finish. So that's two finishes. I also have a secret stitch that I'm doing and I'm just about done with that as well. That is for hopefully the frugal Yankee coming up at the end of the month. I'm hoping that I can get down there. I'm just trying to get the weekend off. Um, so I'm going to get to see Lynette from Homesteading on the Home Front, Helen, East Coast Crafter, so Pam and Steph are going. Um, and I'm hoping to meet all kinds of new stitchers from Maine and New, and new England. So. That will be fun. That'll be my first retreat. I am, I said I was part of the School of Magical Stitches and Literature on Facebook. Um, I love that group. Again, if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. It's fun, uh, no stress. Uh, you get weekly assignments. You do the weekly assignments, 100 stitches, 200 stitches, maybe 500 stitches, and uh, everyone's sorted into a house and you get points for doing your assignments to win the house cup at the end of the year. So I'm a Gryffindor and I've completed most of the assignments. Last week was a short week, uh, the beginning of March, first, second, third, and I didn't finish anything there, but I'm working on this week's assignments. So this week's assignments are you have to find, you have to gather three things from a shops in Diagon Alley. So um, and then find a project that you can fit into that, into that idea of what you would find in the shops. So this week I am working on, hold on, Matter's Choice, which is also, somebody's doing a Sal, I can't remember who, uh, and age doesn't matter, hashtag age doesn't matter, Sal. So I started this, I'm still backwards, I'm working on that. I'm doing it on a 36 count hay winds. Oh, there goes my needle in a blue from Victorian Motto. I think it's Indigo Shades. So that's far how far I've gotten. 
And for this challenge in the Magical School of Stitches and Literature, I am using um, the menagerie. So finding a bird in the menagerie, the animals in that. So that's coming along really fast. I just started this a couple of days ago. And for another thing to find in Diagon Alley, I have a cauldron. So that is my, I'm going to get this finished. This um, School of Literature and Magical Stitches is going to get me to finish this piece. Um, so again, this is Tiny Modernist Haunted Mansion. It's on 32 count Jobelin and Enchanted Glen by Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. And I've got just checking. <laughs> I've gotten the dining room filling out um, and then I'll have a few pieces more up here and I should be finished with that. So there's a cauldron in there up here with the witch. So that will work for um, my second item in Diagon Alley. As for the third item, I haven't figured it out yet. Um, I have all week to finish that. It's 250 stitches per project. Uh, I think in the matter's choice, I've finished my 250. So you have to take a picture before you start stitching your assignment and then a picture after you start stitching your assignment. What else? Oh, I said, I, no, I worked on that secret stitch. I couldn't show you that. Um, I got some haul. Today I got some mail for 123 Stitch. I caved, finally, because I'm seeing everybody do theirs on Instagram. So I'm going to start this. Uh, I don't know. I think I'll just start in the month that we are. I'll probably just start with April. Again, I'm infamous for not finishing things, but they're too cute not to stitch. So I've got those. I got some needles. Had to get needles every time. Every time I make an order. I also purchased Hibernation Day Heartstring Samplery. Um, Steph showed this last week um, on their floss tube and I know several people have done this maybe Lisa Kindred Stitcher Marlene maybe I know she did the Ebenezer's Christmas I don't know if it's from Heartstring Samplery, Samplery but I think it is because it's very similar to this um, this calls for six colors that's it which I kind of like I don't know I picked up a fabric for this, but it's way too light for that project, I think. It's kind of similar to, this is probably too yellow, but that's not the fabric. I picked out 32 count vintage Sahara Belfast, and it's a printed linen. And it's pretty, it's very pale yellow. But I think I'm going to find a different fabric and use this for something else. Or I could coffee tea dye this a little bit, real light, try to get a more aged look out of it. I picked up on Stash Unload, I think, another sampler. This is Sheepish Designs. I used to have a bunch of these but sold them. Um, I don't know if this is a real reproduction sampler, but I like it. I might get rid of this middle border um, it says love thou the Lord and he will be a tender father unto thee I'm not real religious so I don't know I think it would be all right just take that out and move this up cute I think that's all I got for stash um, I was just watching crafty cat stitcher and a few other people this past week or two that I've been watching, they've been talking about their organization of their floss or their fabric. Um, Crafty Cat Stitcher has a box of fabric. Same thing with me. It's just stuffed into a drawer. Um, it's all willy nilly. I don't know what counts or which, um, but I think after watching her, I think I'm going to try to organize that a little bit more. Nothing's really in bags they're just folded. Um, there are larger cuts, smaller cuts. I know I've seen people have these nice, neat little bags that they've probably got that way from the shops. Uh, I got a lot of my stuff on eBay. Um, so everything's kind of, you know, folded this big, some are folded this big. 
I don't know if I want to put more folds in the fabric to kind of make them all uniform. You know, ironing is really hard for me. Um, but maybe organizing them into count. Organizing them by count probably be the best way. So I'm going to figure out something to do with that. But for Fancy Floss, I a few years ago I just had a few skeins of Fancy Floss and now I'm in the Victorian Motto um, Thread of the Month Club. I was in Color and Cotton. I think I might go back to that eventually. I did do Julie for a while and she was doing kind of a mix of um, weeks and crescent, not crescent, I want to say crescent colors all the time, uh, gassed and things like that. So I started building up a stash. So originally I found these boxes on Amazon. And now that my stash has grown, these boxes are getting small. So I went and picked up the larger size. And I love these. And they stack up, stack up nice and neat on my, I guess it's my dresser top. Oh, it's not a dresser, it's a little organizer for my, um, for my cross stitch. Uh, and I love them. The only thing I saw with Crafty Cat was, which I'm gonna do, I think, is she had them all on rings. Like she organized them by color. I think she organized them by um, make, maker as well, but I'm, I think I buy fancy floss so that I can pick out my own colors. I don't need to have the certain color of a certain floss that a pattern calls for. So I think she had everything on, like her browns all on a ring. And I think I'm gonna do that because it's just easier when I pull them all out and then just shove the ring right into the box. And they're all there, all organized by color. I'm gonna start to organize, probably get some more of these boxes and organize them by, kind of split it down a little bit to blue greens and then blues or green browns and browns or golden browns and browns. Um, Cause these boxes are also getting stuff full and eventually I'll need some more. So again, I love these boxes. You can get them on Amazon. If you want to message me for more information on that, I can get you the link to where you can find them. They're probably 13 inches by five or four and a half inches. And they're two, two inches tall, but I love them. They saved me for a huge box full of just a jumbled fancy floss. They saved me. Um, my plans for the next week, I'm gonna try to do another video. I like to keep these videos short, uh, right now at least, until I have more to talk about. Uh, my plans for next week are to do the challenges in the Magical Stitches. I also have to fully finish my project that I made for a Smalls Exchange for the Frugal Yankee. So I am looking at videos and tutorials on how to finish something. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a flat fold or an ornament style, you know, or just, you know, the flat back or a pillow. We'll see, I haven't pulled out my sewing machine in years. Uh, I don't have a, really a place to put it. So when I pull it out, it just sits on the dining room table and it just makes a mess and I never wanna pull it out. Um, this summer, spring and summer, we are planning on um, building an addition to our home. So I'm going to have a new master bedroom with the bathroom and I'm, we are going to make in the basement a room underneath. So that is going to be my craft room. And uh, who is it? Stitch all the things. Why can't I think of her name? She just did her craft room and it's beautiful. I'm so sorry awful. I know her name. Uh, so yeah, plan is hopefully by fall time I'll have a craft room. Um, other than that, I'm just going to stitch. So I'm going to leave you there. Another short video and thank you for watching. I will see you hopefully next week. Bye.